coding made easy. So what's up everybody and welcome to uh, another video on my game development videos. Uh and I never made a videos for I never made a video for uh this series in a long time. It's not really a tutorial series, it's just showing you my game development process. Now, um as as you grow as a programmer there's a lot of new things you learn there's a lot of new things that you want to implement and so on and so forth so a lot of what i was doing before is that i was handling a lot of my game elements using uh common text files right um but i have i haven't really looked much into xml xml but i recently started checking into xml and uh I learned about XML serialization and deserialization and I have to say it really helps a lot and um, it, it increases code efficiency, um, it looks better, um, th there's a lot of advantages to it and basically what the XML serialization is is that basically in a nutshell we can basically store object data into uh, our text file and we can receive object data from our XML file. So that's just like the, that's just touching the surface of it. So uh, just to show you a quick example. So if you look at my XML file right here, I have, uh, I have a menu, right? I put, it's part of the title screen. I have a menu and I set some I, what should I call this? I set some attributes. Yeah, that's what's called. So I set some attributes for my menu, and this is the alignment. So it's a center aligned menu, and along the y axis, I set my different effects that I want. So I want the menu items to fade in and out for fade effect. Then for my menu items, I don't have an image, and but that's my text that says new game. The link. The type of a link is a screen link, meaning that when we actually click that menu item, it will take us to the creation screen. And uh, same for all the other elements on here. So it organizes in a nice clean fashion. So if I look at my title screen.cs right here, um, and uh, yeah, I have a menu manager, right? And what this does is that since its name is menu, what's gonna happen is in our XML file, it's gonna find menu. So once it finds menu, uh, we're gonna look at our menu manager class. So I have an, my attribute align, I have my attributes access, I have my, ele my effect elements, my item elements, and my item elements are of type menu item. So if I scroll down here, in the item elements, so within item right here, then if we look at our class right here, I have my text, um, my images, and my links, and I have a separate separate class to handle my links. Very small classes, but um, they have they have their purposes in the for deserialization. So, uh, one major thing that I've added to this project is the uh is exploding is exploding items or exploding images or exploding text and i'm going to show you this right now so um i don't take i i, I give credit where it's due so uh, uh some of the source code or, um is not mine with this uh, I got some of the source code from somebody else and I've implemented my own version of the, uh, my own implementation or my own variables to it and um, this will what this does is that uh, what what my version does is that if you have a text or you have an image or something what it does is that it creates a render 2d uh, render target a render 2d target or whatever a render target. And what we do is we draw the image or the text to that render target and then we find out we determine oh man my lights just went out of my house anyways so uh we do based on that we determine how wide it is and and the size of each 
um, part of the image that we actually want to explode at, or each part that we want to take apart. And then from that, we send it in into a certain direction with a certain velocity and we get an exploding effect. So I'm going to show you this right now. So one, two, three, press. And when I press it, it explodes and that explodes again. And you can see that depending, sorry for that beeping, my power keeps on cutting in and out. Um, so you can do different, click different items and based on the width and the height of the item, the effect, the exploding effect will be kind of different. But that is it for this game development update. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope, um, uh, yeah, I hope, I don't know if you learned something from this, but I hope you liked it. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and don't forget to check out my tutorials. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching, and bye.